Iranian Renaissance is one of those uh, contemporary uh, Iranian nationalist movements which has a lot of promise and which has a lot of uh, support, financial, as well as uh, uh, support from the many uh, segments of the Iranian-American community. But uh, the primary issue with the, this organization is that uh, uh, an individual like Shaheen Najad is uh, allowing himself to be, you know, uh, Mr. Najad is very respectful, and I think uh, he has a lot of uh, uh, potential but at the same time, uh, he's allowing himself to be led around by a complete uh, lunatic uh, such as uh, Jason Riza Georgiani. And uh, this is the issue that uh, the Iranian Renaissance has. And it's that uh, the leadership is weak and uh, the intellectual core of uh, the Iranian Renaissance is uh, a man who does not recognize uh, the individuals of uh, contemporary Iran as the rightful heirs to the glorious ancient Iranian civilization. Now I've uh, discussed uh, Jason in all of my previous videos. I, man I made many uh, videos discussing the Georgiani question and uh, in each and every single one of those videos I decisively confronted and debunked uh, Georgiani's uh, false uh, pseudo-historical, uh, pseudo-genetic and pseudo-cultural uh, claims about the Iranian history, culture and civilization. But nonetheless, I think uh, I'm not going to repeat that and uh, uh, rather even though I'm not going to repeat that I would still like to say one thing and that is that uh, the very reason why the Iranian Renaissance has failed thus far is because Jason has not, and I repeat, has not uh, done, uh, he's not uh, the best uh, intellectual representative for the organization, aside from his PhD, which was not even from a respectable uh, university, and uh, all he has done is brought shame to his alma mater. Uh, aside from that, he really has nothing. He has no historical knowledge on Iran. He has no cultural knowledge on Iran. He doesn't even have any knowledge about Iran's genetics. And uh, this is the reason why Jason has failed. Uh, and uh, it is also the reason why uh, the Iranian Renaissance has failed. When you have individuals like Georgiani by your side, individuals who have constantly claimed that Iran was a great white nation until it was colonized by brown and yellow peoples, never mind the fact that uh, brown, yellow, white, these are all identities based on skin color or the fact that uh, all genetic evidence has shown there to be 90 to 95% genetic continuity in Iran since the Iron Age. Never mind all that evidence, Jason has gone ahead and constantly made these claims and once uh, once called out about it, he's gone on to deny it. So, you know, I mean, that's uh, one of the reasons why uh, the Iranian Renaissance is not uh, as respectable as it could be. And it, it, see, honestly, you know, when you have a uh, Georgiani as your intellectual, cap uh, intellectual base, there's nothing you can really expect uh, more, you know. And actually, you know, uh, when... Uh, Jason uh, even goes on and claims that he's been in contact with aliens and openly speaks about aliens if, as if they're actual uh, existing, actual beings uh, and exist and communicate with the humans. And even though alien life may exist, we have no evidence for that right now. So for Jason to make all these claims, you clearly see a man who is very deluded in his thinking and in his thought process and really serves no purpose to the Iranian Renaissance. So at this point, the organization should at least, uh, you know, do something about him. He's not uh, done anything, uh, you know, he's not contributed anything and all he has done is bring uh, negative uh, attention to the organization. So I think uh, moving forward, the Iranian Renaissance really needs to uh, pick up their game and really needs to address the Georgiani question. You know, even uh, during the time when uh, Jason was a part of uh, the, uh, what is it called again, when he was part of the alt-right, he humiliated, he made a fool of uh, Dr. Najad. And, uh, you know, I really don't understand why he would put him in that situation. You know, uh, Shaheen uh, trusted Jason and nonetheless Jason betrayed his trust by making a fool of him uh, in front of uh, white nationalists. and. Uh, Honestly, white nationalists didn't really care about Iran or Iranian interests. They just wanted to use Iran as an avenue to advance their own interests and Jason was a fool to align with them. 
on Jason's own vision for an Aryan world, a world order was also ridiculous because uh, obviously the Aryans were only the eastern branch of the eastern Indo-Europeans and they were already admixed uh, by uh, the time they hit Persia and uh, they had mixed uh, on impact in India so again Jason's claims here were were ridiculous and uh, you know uh, the this is the sort of uh, individual who uh, the Iranian Renaissance has made their intellectual uh, core it's it's completely ridiculous when you have a man like Georgiani in such a position you know that uh, your organization really needs uh, some uh, serious uh, you know some serious uh, reconstruction and uh, reevaluation on uh, an intellectual level especially you know it's bad for you when a random pakistani dude uh, ends up so thoroughly debunking your claims and your uh, ridiculous uh, uh, notions about the ancient iranian uh, civilization and culture as well as ancient iranian genetics and uh, this is what I've done and again Jason does not want to debate because he knows he cannot debate so honestly having such an individual in the Iranian Renaissance is nothing more than a liability and that's what Jason exactly is he is a liability he is a liability wherever he goes he was a liability for the outright and now he is a liability for uh, the uh, Iranian Renaissance and he was also a liability for the NJIT in fact, uh, Jason even knows that if he launches a legal battle against me, he cannot win. And the reason for that is quite simple, because everything I've done thus far has been based on facts. Not on fiction, not on defamation, but on facts. So again, you know, Jason's uh, claims here and there are uh, totally ridiculous. And I think uh, in the future, uh, he will never lead uh, Iran. He will never even become a leader of a political or nationalist organization. And the Iranian Renaissance needs to honestly and seriously reconsider having him in their organization. And they should uh, sooner rather than later uh, dispose of him. Now, I don't know how they're going to do this, but uh, if I had to say, I think he should just be let go. And uh, his contributions to the Iranian Renaissance are nothing more than uh, pseudo-history pseudoscience and uh, also pseudogenetic. If uh, Giorgiani really wanted to get serious and uh, really wanted to advance his own career, he would not have made a mess of himself or a fool of himself in front of everyone multiple times and uh, he would have instead focused on his academic career and he would have uh, furthered that. You know, he had a great lectureship at, um, you know, the NJIT, but he even lost that. He wasted that and uh, now he has really nothing left and uh, you know moving forward i don't think he'll even be successful in life ever again since he's wasted so many of his opportunities furthermore jason has not even uh, been loyal to any one uh, segment you know he says he's loyal to iran but at one point he was claiming to be uh, loyal to the uh, global white nationalist movement at the other he claimed to be an iranian zionist which itself is uh, a paradox and a contradiction so really Giorgiani has done nothing but bring negative attention to uh, the Iranian Renaissance. His claims of being an Iranian Renaissance have uh, led uh, some uh, Iranians to uh, think that perhaps the Iranian Renaissance is a Zionist-related uh, uh, organization or heavily influenced by the Israeli state, which uh, I don't know if it's true or not. So really, uh, Giorgiani has done nothing but bring negative attention uh, to the Iranian Renaissance and moving forward, the Iranian Renaissance should uh, really get rid of him. He's completely useless and, uh, you know, there was no need for me to make this video, but uh, I think it's my final video on Jason. I think he's pretty much done at this point. He really has nothing else to say. You know, he's uh, pretty much done. His channel is pretty much dead and... Uh, his claims uh, are solely pseudo-historical and uh, pseudo-scientific. So that's about it for it, this video. Thanks for supporting me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, I would uh, call you to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, once again, just thanks. And uh, also thanks uh, if you stayed uh, until the end of this video. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, you will subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Thank you and take care.